back to another episode. Today we are getting ready to start sweating our balls off here in the shed. We got plenty of water to go along with that. Uh, just got done drilling all the holes to run the wiring and uh, it's another spicy day outside. Luckily there's a little bit of a breeze. It doesn't feel too bad to stand right there. Yeah, you can see it blowing through. But once you get up top, that's where it's a little hotter. Uh, what we're going to do is try to focus on just the living room and the kitchen area. Uh, the bedroom and bathroom is going to be a little bit later, but like I said, we've already got all the stuff drilled out. Now we're going to start running the wire, and then uh, I'll probably end up putting on some hurricane straps as well uh, after we get the wiring done. Uh, just try to get everything done as much as possible in this heat and try not to kill ourselves doing it. So, anyways. Huh? Say get her done. He says get her done. That's not my that's not my word. It's called let's get to work. So let's get to work. Oh. So anyway, let's stop talking and get to work.
for once, I'm glad I'm not tall.
got some kind of block in here for your fireplace well, attached. The fireplace can get built out. Build out a little fireplace and it's it. That's all we did. Okay. So that at least that's what I was thinking. So it'll be hard to fit. Oh it gets a lot. Come on, Jared, hit the weights. six inches and then uh. all right guys I want y'all to comment down below how many times you hear my leg whistle in this video the winner will get a special prize it's probably not gonna be anything but <laughs> Hey, go get a shout out. Um, hey, there it was again. Wish and addiction. It's like the Tin Man saying, He's oil well can. But when I do put oil though, it makes it a little too loose. But right now, so yeah. what we did, well, you got the camera's right there. <laughs> Excuse me. His ass is talking again. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, what we did was we ran one circuit. One circuit that's going to run one, two, three, four, regular plugs, or I say regular plugs, uh, just normal plugs. Up here it's going to be the same thing except we ran the two plugs up there. So there's more outlets where his television, his fireplace, and all that. So we're just running that on one circuit. Well, I want to point out as well, I do listen to you guys or we do, and uh, there were people pointing out the outlets being underneath the windows as a safety issue, uh, possibly a code violation. So we decided to go ahead and put them out here on the inside of the, the windows, and same thing on the sides over here. So there's nothing underneath the window. Now that's what I was telling you, if the window was left open, it won't blow in and drip in on top of it that way. So like I said on my side channel, here's my shameless plug, STR Talks. I do listen to y'all's information. There's a lot of contractors, plumbers, electricians that watch, and give y'all's feedback, just try to be respectful with your feedback and uh, maybe we'll listen, so. But yes, we're gonna have this on just one circuit because the most that's ever gonna be on this circuit will be the television and his little electric it's fireplace. It's a little like fireplace. Probably doesn't pull maybe 2,000 watts. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot. And then above it, we'll have the mini split, which are gonna end up running it underneath that's the house in, in conduit, so that's why you're not seeing that. But. Yeah, the uh, fireplace will be right here. You'll just run the wire straight up, plug it in, same thing with the TV. Basically the same concept we did in Terrell. Right. So. And if you look up here, you're wondering how, because we ran wire like we did through here, and uh, you're saying, well, how are you going to cover all that? Well, we still, because the way these things are manufactured, we're still going to run a plywood strip across here yeah. to keep it level, and then when we put our, our two by four out, uh, up here, it's going to be a to level this whole wall off. In other words, before we foam it, and that's the the joys of working with the shed. There, that's a, a pre fact pre manufactured home or whatever. We'll have to do certain things to. You have to customize it. things because not everything matches up perfect. There's a lot of little things here and there that we have to try to work around. And but I mean, it's it's a it's well, a well built. Yeah, overall, I'm pleased with the building. building but uh, like I said, we just in order to get it flush for his inside finish work, we have to do some modifications, add-ons. But like I said, uh, we're only gonna focus on the living room and kitchen in this in this video. And then uh, once we get all the wires ran, which shouldn't take too much longer, this is going up pretty quick. Right. Uh, then I'll go back and put in all the hurricane straps or the tie downs or whatever it is up top. And that's gonna be a lot of hammering. I don't have that little tool that, uh, that Jason had. What was it, little uh, handheld palm, palm, nailer. palm nailer? Uh, we don't have any power out here, so I can't run a pump or anything. So we're gonna do the old school way, just hammer it in. Uh, I wanna hammer it in, but I do have that scaffolding, which makes it a hell of a lot easier. You know, to move up there, so it just makes things just a lot easier and uh, a lot safer for me, so. 
Anyways, uh, maybe we'll take a quick water break. Maybe he needs one. I've already taken one. Uh, I'll probably we'll a little bit. go ahead and start running it over where the kitchen is and along the uh, south side of my house. So, anyways, we'll check back in here in a bit. separate circuit for his dishwasher. But you just want to climb up there and run another one. It just is what it is, right? It is what it is. I got this in the mail from a subscriber from Missouri. I think it was Barb. Thanks so much for that. I always say it is what it is, because that's what it is. It is what it is. So appreciate you for that. I hope you uh, watch this video and see it. I do appreciate when you send stuff. I appreciate you just watching, period. I don't want y'all to send stuff, but this will definitely find a place in my house, if not in my future shop or something because it is what it is and uh speaking of it is what it is today's a special day isn't it it is what it is oh did you forget no you want to tell them what it is it's my wife and my anniversary yeah it's my dad and his his uh his but side I, piece's anniversary yeah i think uh 45 years longer than that isn't it? i don't know you 78 to the present 78 that's pretty bad. You should, we should at least talk about this before we put you on the spot. So now you're not looking like a good husband. They've been married forever. So hey, comment down below, give them a congratulations for uh, sticking it out. Most people don't. And uh, it's nice to be able to say your parents have been married that long. Uh, not a lot of people can say that. And you are still, <laughs> you won't ever hear me say this again, but you are still kind of young. You also yeah. have uh, 
probably another 30 years in you maybe if you play it right. If you want to live that long. I don't know about that. But, but yeah, 40, 45 years, something like 45 that. 45 years. 45 is a very good number. It was in the 78s. What is that, 47 or 45? Dad, don't put me on the spot. It's 2003. I think it's 45. I don't know, but anyways, congratulate them for being married. Oh, time. I know that. Yeah. So anyways, once again, shout out for this. It's going to find a nice spot for now. I'm going to keep it in the kitchen window over here. And, it is what it is. And he brought us back, man, went and got us some early drinks. Yeah, strawberry peach, and he's got a peach, just a regular signature, or whatever, anyway. Matt was trying not to be woke, but nowadays it's kind of hard not to. Uh, it's made with real fruit, though. It's every, called Simply Spike. Every alcohol beverage is uh, almost woke nowadays. It seems like that I don't like really drinking any. I don't need it. Like I'll drink a couple of these, but like that. But I will every now and then, but I don't like it. So that's five percent alcohol. I mean, what better way to build a house than have a couple of these? And my jug, I got it full of. I know people say it's not good, but it's that propel. Why is it not good? It's got electrolytes. I don't know. They said it's not good for you. Well, it is good for us because it keeps us hydrated. I always thought that was good for you, but anyway, shout out to the beer who sent us those packets as well. Yeah. But, yeah, we are going to go back here in a little bit and wire up the uh, the lights and everything. I don't have all my puck lights or anything, but I went to Lowe's earlier, priced it out. I think a pack of six of the puck lights is going to be about 130, 140, and then uh, I need seven of them, so it'd be less than 200 dollars for those. And uh, we'll have four of them running across this side, three across the front side, and then in my living room we'll have the fan with the light on it. So it'll be nice and lit up in here. And then I was hoping to possibly do the uh, dimmer switches on so I can set the mood when I have the ladies over. <laughs> Were you laughing at? Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stop being idiots and get back to work. Switches and yeah, we're gonna run the wires for the light up in the the ceiling. Run the wires to the switch boxes. It's a warm one. Yeah, I would say uh, I'd be able to tell what the temperature is, but the batteries fell out of that one. It's probably about 102, at least easy 110 index. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll wire up the switches, and then I'll go back in now that we have the wires ran, I can go back and put the hurricane straps on. Probably do it a little bit later, go inside, take a quick break, come back in, do those, and I'll call it into video, that's another. Like I said, we're not trying to kill ourselves, and luckily for us, there is a breeze today, so it, it feels good sitting down like this, but when you're up there, you don't catch a lot of that wind, but. It's coming along slowly, like I said in uh, my side channel, SDR Talks. Once again, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Oh, is that your sound check going? Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to check back in. Give me a second here. Why, yes, it is. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later in the day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just call it for today. Uh, dropped Dad off, had a little bit of dinner, came back. I'm going to try to clean stuff up before I go back in. Uh, it's been a hot one, but we accomplished a lot today. Got a lot of the wiring done. Uh, still need to figure out exactly where we want to put the puck lights up at the top and where we want to put the fan and stuff. Uh, once I mark that stuff out, we'll go ahead and run the wires for that. And then I'm going to be putting in the hurricane braces uh, here soon as well, probably in the next video. I think I have 30 of them to put in, and there's about six nails for each one, and you got to do it by hand. So I'll get the scaffolding out, get up there, get it, that all done on the next video, and uh, move on to the next step. So anyways, uh, it's been a, a good 
good work day for us. Very uh, pleased with the way everything came out. Uh, very appreciative of dad's hard work out in this heat. And once again, guys, comment down below. Congratulate mom and dad on, we think it's 45 years of marriage. I don't know. It's been so many years we can't remember. So anyways, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. I cannot do this without you. Very much appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.